How's it going everyone? It's Galactic and welcome back to another episode of March of the Living or as I'm pretty soon going to be calling this series the game that fucking hates Galactic because my save keeps corrupting. <laughs> and so if you have been watching the series you know I've been having some issues with it and the last time we left off we had Greg and I believe his name was Barry with us. Well since that time my save has corrupted and I've had to play up to this point again so Barry's gone and now we have Elliot and Elliot's been a pretty good help but he's been bitten and infected whoop we need to eat but we're actually in pretty good pretty good standing we've got a good amount of ammo an okay amount of food and we're just gonna keep going uh, let's see you arrive at a safe zone and immediately hear a commotion going on must be a fight you get a little closer and see two men in an argument. I'm not going to let you keep taking my gear. Hand over the whiskey, Tom. No way, you don't need it. I'll put it to good use. Uh, let's see, what do you guys think? Should we try to talk to him? Uh, you know what? If it's two drunks arguing over alcohol, I'm going to let them do it. You leave the two men to argue. They both get up and keep shouting at each other as you just walk off. Oh, are we... Huh. I don't have any credits. I don't have any credits or anything. I, had a, I don't think I have anything I want to sell right now, but the only thing I want really is food. We're just going to keep going. But I'm glad to see that we can actually run into little encampments like that. That should help out. But, okay. It's been a little while since I've played this game, so I'm a little confused on how the map works sometimes. All right, you begin to hear the faint sound of engine noises in the distance. Spinning around, scan the horizon. Several motorbikes with armed riders are speeding directly towards you. I'm going to hide. That doesn't seem too good to me. You dive into the undergrowth and wait for the bikers. Either they didn't see you or they aren't interested in starting a confrontation because they speed right past. Once they are out of sight, you return to the road and continue on to your journey. That could have gone really bad for us, honestly, but I'm glad that it didn't, though. So. Anyway, so yeah, so Elliot's infected, and that means that as each day passes, he takes one point of damage to his health. Because we got into a scuffle with some zombies earlier, and he got bit. Um, no, we're not going to rest. We're going to travel a little bit more. Take a moment to admire the scenery. Everything is so calm that for a brief moment, you forget what a living hell this world has become. I'm sure you wouldn't get too many moments like that. Let's check. Let's go ahead and eat. We are rapidly running out of food. Hopefully we have enough to make it to that first city, because I am heading towards every city I can. Make sure. Holy crap. I... You know what? I'm going to turn tail and run, you guys. Screw this shit. Nope. I don't want to deal with... Oh shit, I lost a weapon. That's really not good. Hmm. God, how much time do we waste running away? Good amount. And we're fatigued and we're hungry. Holy crap. Okay, so there are some serious consequences to running away like little wieners. We won't do that again. Man. I don't know who lost that pistol either. I'm going to stop for a second. Oh no, old revolver. Ah, so the only thing Elliot's got is a shotgun right now. Okay, that's fine, because I think he's better with a shotgun anyway, so I'm gonna keep traveling. A man bartering with another can be seen just as you arrive in a safe area. He seems to be upset about something and is beginning to raise his voice. You walk over to see what's going on. Hey look man, you said if I brought this to you, brought this watch, you give me some cigs. Now you're saying you don't have any? This is ridiculous. You know, in my earlier playthrough, I actually had a pack of cigarettes and I lost them. Oh man, I could have gotten a bottle of whiskey. Damn it. All right, try to calm them down. Uh, all right, all right, I'll be back in two days. You got until then, bud. He points to the trainer, trader, <laughs> and walks over to his sleeping bag just behind the trees and begins to rest. The trader turns to you and says, Thanks. Thanks for getting him off my back. Here, have a meal while you're here. Oh, thank God. 
I could really use those antibiotics. The only thing I think I have to sell... Melee weapon. Shit. I don't want to sell that, because that actually comes in handy. I will take the food rations, though. Thank you. We're actually doing A-OK -okay in this map, you guys. Uh-oh. That's... Whoop, stop. Hello, stranger! I've got some quality goods for sale if you're interested. He wipes the sweat from his forehead. What What do you say, yeah? Alright, let's see what we got. I'll show you what I got, and you show me what you got, sound fair. This is starting to sound dirty. Uh, I'm interested in buying two. He opens up a large duffel bag filled with wares and drops it in front of you. It hits the ground with a thud. Bob wait, a bobblehead? So like from Fallout? Bobblehead of a baseball player you don't know. Oh man, I could really use that first aid kit. What if I just kill him and take all his stuff? Yeah. <laughs> That's... Uh, as much as I'd like to do that, I don't think I can bring myself to do that. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Okay, we are starting... Okay, we're getting closer. Uh, mm, damn it. Go ahead and rest. Might be a really bad spot to do this. I don't know, though. Wake up! Okay. We're gonna travel as long as we can until we get super hungry, you guys. You're taking a hike through the forest when you come across a carcass of an unfortunate slain deer. Taking a quick examination, you discover a pair of crossbow bolts lodged in, is, it, uh, lodged in its head. There doesn't appear to be any sign of other visible wounds, at least on the sides you can see. Let's try it. Let's eat. Uh, using whatever you can find nearby, you can manage to set up a small campfire to cook with. Before you set it alight, however, you decide to give the deer a second examination. It's fortunate that you did too, because the underside has more than a few hidden bite marks you hadn't seen before. Knowing that the meat is most likely infected now, will you still try to cook it and consume it? Mm, let's try to cook the unbitten parts of the deer. After spending half an hour roasting the unbitten parts of the deer over an open flame, you take a small portion off the fire and bite into it as a taste test. A putrid aftertaste fills your mouth after you swallow some of the meat, forcing you to spit it out. It's too late, though. Chills run down your body's really... God damn it. Oh, good. We're both infected. Fantastic. Isn't that a... Oh, shit. I made a really good decision there. I knew I should have just left it alone. Oh, stop. But I was so hungry. Alright. This sucks. We are in a bad state now. Christ Vagony attract your attention from just over the rise in the road where you, where you spot a man sitting down. You move closer but suddenly halt as you realize that past the bump the road is completely lined with a small, oh with small sharp wooden stakes and not only that the man has been impaled by the stakes in several places, feet, hands, buttocks, just looks like the pain this man is in makes you cringe. Uh, hmm. One well-aimed round to the cranium, you put the unfortunate soul out of his misery, you hope no one else befalls the same fate. That kind of seemed like the only reasonable answer to me. <laughs> okay, where are we at? Shit. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, we'll just go that way. There's a small group of about a dozen people up ahead, all armed. Halt right there, one of them shouts. We don't want any trouble, so just leave all your food right here and back away slowly. Fuck you. Or run away. You make a motion like you're putting down your food, but turn tail and run into the woods. Your shots as you flee, and one of them hits Greg. Good. Oh, I should have seen how much food I had. I only had one piece. Which actually really isn't friggin' good. Shit. Oh, we are not doing good here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. Because I don't want to stick around with, what, seven zombies? Oh, god damn it. 
Alright, let this be a lesson to everyone that plays. Don't run away if you don't have to. Could have probably taken them out, too. Alright, um... Rest. We have to rest. Oh, shit. Alright, wake up. Alright, Greg's gotta eat. He's the one that has to survive. Are you kidding me? I know, I know. Believe me. Come across a school with some lights on. Above it flies a flag that has SOS written on it, accompanied by an arrow pointing to the door. The sign must have been up for a while. It is dirty and covered with stains. Sure, let's keep making bad decisions. You knock on the door three times, nothing happens. You knock two more times. This time with force, the door bursts open with waters. And waters come charging out. You retreat back to the road and prepare to fight. Fuck! Alright, screw this. Let's see. You do that. Hey, let's see, Elliot. What do you got? Shotgun? Reagan, let's do this. Hey. You guys will have some food on them. Get that guy. How about you do that? Get him in the head. Get him in the head. There we go. Shit, nothing. <sighs> we are definitely making some really bad decisions, guys. <laughs> well. Not we, not we, me. I know Elliot, I really know, dude. Let's see, someone running towards you begins to shout, Please help me. The man finally reaches you whilst gasping for air. He, look, he looks unarmed. I was just looking for supplies in the cabin not too far from here when a group of infected came out of the woods. The man begins to panic as he sees the infected stumbling into sight. Uh, the groan's growing closer. Tell the man he'll take care of them. Sure. Tell the man to run away and prepare a fight. A few moments later, you hear the man cry out in agony, and you see as he's been bitten by another rotter. He manages to break free of his grasp and run away. The rotter shambles towards you. Good. Alright. Screw this. Let's, let's just do this. Diamond ring, fantastic. Don't want a diamond ring, I want food, damn it. Elliot is dead. Fuck, alright. Alright. Elliot died of hunger. Alright. Well, you were a good friend, Elliot, but say love you. Let's go right down the list. Let's see what we can find in the police station. Hopefully, some kind of ammunition. Cool. Go. Go. I already have an old revolver and a shotgun. What I really need. Food. Let's hope we find some of the grocery store, not a bunch of zombies. Sweet. What do we find? Thank God. Oh, fishing. You have the diamond ring. I'll have the fishing rod. We will go to the hospital. See if we can find some meds. We really need meds for Greg. Oh, sweet. Um, we'll leave that there for a second. That cape. Go. Rug store. Shit. Well, let's just let's just keep going with number two. If number two and number three are. Holy hell. Uh, hmm. Uh, see if I can actually. I mean, I'm already infected, right? So. 
what's the worst that can happen? Uh, I'll get more infected? I don't know if it works that way. All I know is I don't want to lose anything else, damn it. And I really wish I hadn't lost that rifle, because that rifle was really sweet. I don't know what these zombies do. If they have more health. Yep, they seem to. Good. Come on, kill him. There we go. One more. Are you kidding me? Shit. I don't remember how to grapple. You get ungrappled. Damn it. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, we are really not doing super hot, but we're going to eat. At least get that back up. Scavenge. We only got the apartments left. The 14% difference. I'm in the state that I'm in right now. I got to be as careful as I can. Um, I mean, I guess. Let's see what this does. See if I can do it. Oh, yeah. Come on, you bastards. There we go. Move, 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 move. Shit. See if we got it. And the shotgun is super useful. I'm way into this. Thank God. Oh, we'll definitely take food. But I don't think I've got anything for the shotgun as far as bullets go now. Crap. We gotta rest. Hopefully I can find something. There we go. Oh, shit. Alright, map. We are so close to getting to the next area, you guys. Let's see. If I hadn't listened to you, she'd still be alive. You hear someone shout, Ed, you see two armed men, one tall and one short, pointing their weapons at a third. Will the two of you just calm down and think for a second? The third one replies. He's unarmed and he looks like he's about like it's about to get ugly. Uh maybe ask for more information? All you need to know is that my friend is dead because of this guy, the, the short one replies. Uh, hmm. Maybe... I'm just going to try a pacifist route. Let's try with the arm guy. Still siding with him? Over my dead body, the short man turns and points his gun at you. Shit. Oh, that's not good. That headshot. Fuck me. You fall to the ground in agony, knowing you've met your maker. You wonder how things could have gone so wrong with your last breath. You curse yourself for starting starting such a dangerous journey. And so the journey ends. Alrighty, you guys. That's the end of this episode. Uh, if you want me to continue with this, let me know down in the comments below. This game is a whole lot of fun, even though I've had a lot of problems with it. Anyway, if you do want me to continue, I'll try to play back up to this this area of the game and we'll go from there. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and I can't wait to see all of you next time. See you later everyone.